Hey guys, it's Laura from ArtRoyalHouse.com and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade, all-natural hairspray. Making your own hairspray is actually really, really simple and I think you guys might be a little shocked when I tell you that the main ingredient for the hairspray is sugar. So the sugar is what makes it hold your hairstyle. The first thing we're gonna do is dissolve the sugar into some water. So I have here one cup of water that I'm gonna just add to a small saucepan. Then I'm gonna add in one to two tablespoons of sugar. And the reason why I say one to two tablespoons is because this really depends on your hair type. For me, I like about one and a half tablespoons, but the more sugar, the stronger the hold it's going to be for the hairspray. But if you get too much sugar, then it's gonna make your hair feel sticky. Start off with one and a half tablespoons, and then you can add more if you think you want it to be a stronger hold hairspray. So, I'm just going to put it in here and I'm going to stir it until all of the sugar dissolves. Okay, so all of my sugar is dissolved, so I'm going to use this funnel and just pour my sugar water into a glass spray bottle. And then I'm just going to add in one tablespoon of a high proof alcohol, about 80 proof. And so you can use vodka, rum, spice rum, gin, whatever one you prefer. And then we're going to add in some essential oils. I'm gonna use a blend of lavender, wild orange, and rosemary. Now you can use one oil, a blend of oils, however you want. I'm gonna do about 10 drops in here. I really like lavender and rosemary because they have wonderful benefits for your hair. It can help with promoting hair growth, thickness, and also with any type of hair loss type thing. So really good for that. It also has some great benefits for your scalp as well. And then I'm gonna also add in a couple drops of wild orange, just because I love that smell of lavender and wild orange together. And then I'm just going to put the spray bottle lid on here and give it a good shake each time before you use it just to make sure all the ingredients are well combined and this is ready to go. This is gonna have a shelf life of one year because of that rosemary and that alcohol in here. It's gonna preserve it pretty well and that's whenever it's kept in an airtight container like this. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you guys want some more natural hair care recipes, I have my complete playlist linked below where I have a homemade shampoo, conditioner, a hair serum, also some dry shampoo recipes, all different types of things. And also I have a link down there for a label for your spray bottle if you decide to make this. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I get out new videos every single week on essential oil education, natural remedies, and I share a lot of different healthy recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by our oily house.